Today, I'm going to show you how to get more control with your edges in Blender. Most of you have probably heard of the Solidify modifier, but did you know about its wombo combo potential when used with the Subdivision modifier? There's some interesting things you can do with these two modifiers that I don't often see explained. Thing one, you can get super clean edge control. Thing two, you can make borders of shapes from masked areas using complex and rim only settings in the solidify modifier. What is this useful for? Oh, I don't know, only belts, rings, weird shapes, ornamentation and complex shapes on curves, or just about any time you want uniform control over your edges. So here's the basics. Take any flat object and add a solidify modifier, then add a subdivision surface modifier with three levels of subdivision. Navigate to the edge data menu in the solidify modifier and adjust the values as needed. I had never fiddled with these settings and when I finally did, it blew my mind. It saves me so much time not needing to manually crease every edge. Crease inner will crease the back faces, outer will crease the front faces, and rim will crease any rim edges that Blender detects. This has tons of applications, but probably the single best use case I can think of is when you are sculpting and want to do a mask extraction. Let's say I want to add some ornaments to the sphere. I'll draw my mask in the shape that I want, then go to Mask, Mask Extract. Then I will uncheck Extract as Solid. If I leave Extract as Solid checked, Blender will extract a messy tangle of geometry that I have almost no control over, like this. That's not what I want. I want to be able to control the hardness of my edges. To do that, I'll uncheck Extract as Solid, then hit OK. Now I have flat geometry that I can use with the solidify modifier. I'll go into object mode, I'll hit G, then Y, and move it forward a bit. It's still really rough around the edges, so I'll go back into sculpt mode, and I'll select the mesh filter tool on the left, set it to smooth, then left click and drag my mouse to the right a little until the edges of my extraction smooth out. I pretty much always want to do this step for mask extraction. Okay, so now I have a nice smooth shape. I could just add a solidify modifier right now, but as you can see, I'd have no control over the edges. This is where the solidify plus subdivision modifier wombo combo comes into play. Because my mesh has a lot of geometry right now, if I add a solidify and a subdivision modifier, my poly count spikes like crazy, and that's no good. So we need to make this shape as low poly as possible while retaining the form. If I wanted to retopologize the complex shape of this mask extraction, it would take a long time. I could use face snapping and the poly build tool to go faster, but it would still take ages. Instead, here's three methods you can use to do it faster. And remember, if you learned something here or you like the content, smash the like button and subscribe for more. Method one. The built-in method. This method uses tools that are built into Blender. Let's select our shape and add a decimate modifier. You want to set it as low as you possibly can while still keeping the shape of your extraction. Once you're happy with the decimation, select apply. Then in edit mode, hit A to select all, then navigate to the face menu and select tries to quads. This will convert many of the triangles into quads, eliminating some of the shading issues. You can then add a solidify modifier, followed by a subdivision modifier, and tweak the edge data to get your edge control. As you can see, there are some shading errors, so some geometry cleanup might be required, or you could apply the modifier and smooth it out in sculpt mode. Method 2. JRemesh, a free auto retopology add-on. This method uses JRemesh, a free auto retopology tool that was made into a Blender add-on by JNM. The link for the add-on is in the description. Download the add-on from GitHub, and also follow the link on the JRemesh page to download Instant Meshes for your OS, since that's the program that will be doing the retopology. Instant Meshes is a standalone program, by the way, so you don't need to install it as a Blender add-on. Once you've downloaded and installed JRemesh in Blender, and have also installed Instant Meshes on your computer, go to the JRemesh add-on menu in Blender and locate the executable file for Instant Meshes. Then save your preferences. Now, with your end panel open, go to JRemesh, check all of these boxes, and set the poly count low. When you click Remesh, you'll see that it did a reasonable job of retopology, requiring just a bit of cleanup to get decent results. Now, just like before, you can add your Solidify modifier, followed by your Subdivision Surface modifier, and play with the edge data values to get your edge control. Method three. Quad Remesher, the paid solution. No matter what you're doing in Blender, I recommend getting Quad Remesher. It's made by the same person who coded ZRemesher and ZBrush, and it works just as well. It is a paid add-on, but it has a one-month free trial for anyone to try, and honestly, if I could only recommend one single add-on for Blender, this would be it, and here's why. With Quad Remesher, I can just set the desired polygon count, click Remesh, and boom, it's ready. With nice clean geometry, it's simply ready for me to use, no messing around. Do you need Quad Remesher? Absolutely not. But will it save you a lot of time if you don't need to manually retopologize and fix every piece? Yeah, it will. Neat border trick! Another interesting way to use Solidify and Subdivision together is to get solid borders like this. If we take the same shape but change the Solidify mode to Complex, then select Only Rim, we're left with the outline of the shape. 
This is extremely useful for adding borders to interesting shapes. If we then add another solidify modifier, you can see that we can use the outline to make a border. To control the edges of this new shape, we have two choices. We can either add another subdivision surface modifier and then tweak the second solidify values. This will work, but it won't give us the same level of control that a single solidify modifier will. So instead, hop into edit mode, select all of the front faces of your shape, hit Shift D to duplicate them, then hit P to bring up the separation menu and choose selected. Then with this new shape selected, change the solidify mode to complex and select only rim. This will produce a ribbon shape with no thickness, which is what we want. Next, go up to object, navigate to convert, and select mesh to apply all the modifiers at once. Then, one final time, add a solidify modifier and a subdivision modifier to your object. Now you have a border for your shape. Just like before, you have total control over your edges. And that's it. Now you know how to get very precise edge control in Blender and it's easy peasy. All my love goes to my patrons without whom I could not make these videos. Special thanks to the Deuces Club for always sticking around to the end of my videos. If you weren't already in the Deuces Club, you are now. If you want to join the Deuces Club members list that I pinned to every video, just comment Deuces down below. Alright everyone, I'll be back soon with another video. Deuces.